Is the government beaming subliminal microwave messages directly into your brain? No, they're not. But the technology to do so is shockingly real. Conspiracy theorists often call this V2K, or voice-to-skull messaging. Pad that out with typical conspiracy thinking, and you know exactly how this script reads. A shadowy agency busies itself beaming microwave signals into the brains of random individuals for the purposes of experimentation or some larger nefarious plot. There's no truth to this, of course. It's all a matter of auditory hallucinations, such as those associated with schizophrenia, or delusional disorders, or other mental maladies going on. V2K simply provides a tempting script for the addled mind to latch onto, in large part because there is some truth behind it. The microwave auditory effect is a reality. To refresh, microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiation. Microwave technology allows us to heat a burrito and transmit wireless power, but it also allows us to induce the perception of sound in both hearing and deaf individuals. Neuroscientist Alan H. Frey published the first paper on this microwave auditory effect back in 1962. By this method, researchers were able to transmit the sound of a human voice into the heads of test subjects. The waves activated cochlear receptors in the same way normal hearing does. And so, what sounded like an electrically modulated voice, uh, one which no one else could hear, spoke numbers or short words to the test subject. The messages were kept simple, however, lest the waves exceed minimal safe exposure limits. The effect has largely remained a curio, though the U.S. military has certainly looked into possible applications. According to Wired Magazine, the term telepathic ray gun came up in a 1998 U.S. Army study, while the U.S. Navy researched the technology in 2003. Journalist David Hambling reported on the issue for both Wired and New Scientist back in 2008, interviewing Lev Sadovnik, who worked on the Medusa, that's mob excess deterrent using silent audio device for the Navy. Sadovnik stated that the technology was effective, but it carried with it the risk of brain damage due to high intensity shock waves generated in the skull by the microwave pulse. At worst, Hambling reported, such technology could constitute a brain-killing death ray. But it could also see use as a bird deterrent or a subliminal advertising transmitter. And so, V2K technology is very possible, and the possible applications are certainly disconcerting. But here's the bottom line you are not at the center of some black ops psychic experiment. You are not a targeted individual, as darkly seductive as that explanation may seem. If you are hearing voices or unexplained sounds in your head, go see a doctor. It's a symptom of medical illness. So what about you? Have you ever heard unexplained sounds or voices in your head? And if so, uh, what turned out to be the underlying reason? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you.